Okay, so we're going to create our very own password manager program. And it's going to be fully interactive just like this. So if you're anything like me, you probably don't like memorizing so many different passwords, okay? And I also don't want to put all my password inside one notepad because that's not too secure. And also I don't want to upload all my passwords to a website which could potentially be hacked or breached. So I'm going to create my very own password manager program here with a fully interactive user interface. So before we start, let me show you exactly what we can do with this application. So suppose we wanted to add a new password to this password bank, okay? So let's say the name of the website is, for instance, Reddit. And let's add a username. And then we'll add a password. And once we save that, as you can see, it's added to our list of passwords over here. And we can then read any password that we have in this password list. So for instance, YouTube, you can see what we added for Reddit, you can see what we have here for Twitter, okay? And now suppose we want to modify a password. Suppose we want to make this password for Twitter a little bit more secure. We can modify that and then hit save. So the next time I click Twitter, as you can see, the updated password is there. And we can also search. So let's say I want to see all the credentials that contain ER. As you can see, Twitter and Easy Colder contain ER. So those are displayed here. And finally, we can delete. So let's say we want to delete what we just created here. We just highlight that and then click delete. So let me show you how to create this. Let's open NetBeans and let's create a new project. So we'll click this icon and within the Java Ant, we'll see Java application here, hit next. Let's call this storage pass. So that's the name of our project, but let's modify the name of our class, the main class that we're going to use, which is password manager. And then we'll hit finish. So if you've been following with the previous tutorials, we created a very basic password manager, okay? It didn't have a user interface like this, but it was still usable, okay? So we're just going to build upon that password manager program. So we're just going to copy our password manager class from our previous password manager tutorial, and we'll paste that in here. So we'll leave the package name the same, but everything beneath that will replace. Now, as you can see, we're looking for a credential class as well. So let's create this credential class. So we'll right click our package and then we'll create a new Java class. Call this credential. And once again, we're just going to copy and paste the information we had in our previous credential class. We're going to paste it in here. So essentially what we can do here is uh, initialize a vault or create the vault. We can also add credentials to our vault. We can display what is in our vault and we can search for a specific credential in our vault. And we can also remove a specific credential from our vault. 
So let's go ahead and test this out. We have all of these in our main method. So all of these are going to be run. So let's go ahead and play around with that. So as you can see, it's asking us to enter the description for the password that we're about to add. So I'll just call this test pass one. The username, just make this user one, two, three. And then the password would be some random characters. So we're just going to add a second credential, my cred. And then the username, just make this anonymous. And then the password will be another combination of characters. So now suppose I want to search for a specific password. Let's say I wanted to find the test pass one, which is right here. Just enter test. It doesn't have to be the full search term. As you can see, it retrieved test pass one and then the credentials that are associated with that. So now it's asking me if I want to remove a credential and which credential would I like to remove? So let's say in this case, I want to remove the second credential that I added. So that would be my cred two. So as you can see, that has been deleted. So as it stands right now, this is a functional program. However, we want to create an interface that looks just like this, that would work with this program. So we can start by first creating a JFrame form. Okay. So within our package, we're going to add a JFrame form. Let's call this user interface. And we're going to design it to look like what we had before. So we had a text field, which was about half the size of the page. And then we had a label here. So let's modify the text here at website slash description. And that was about half the size of this as well. And then below the website description, we had a text field. And then below that, we had another description or a label, which reads username. And then we'll add another text field for the username. And then we have a password label. Let's modify the text. And then below that we have the password field. And then below all of that, we have a button, which was a save button. So let's modify the text of this to say save. And now on our left side, Underneath the search bar, we had a list. Okay, so this is the list of all the credentials. Put that here. And then below that, we had a delete button. So just like that. Let's move the frame just to make sure everything fits perfectly. And now let's just modify the variables that we have here because we're going to be using these variables in our program. And right now they're not that descriptive. So to avoid confusion, we're just going to give these variables the appropriate names. Okay. So the first one is going to be a search box. So we'll just call this search field. So we can right click. And then change variable name. 
The next field was the website field or the description field. Double click this to rename it description field. And we'll do that for the rest of the variables. We're going to give the appropriate names. Okay, so the variable names are search field, description field, username, password field, delete button, and save button. So let's look at a preview of our design so far. And to do that, we're just going to right click our user interface and then run file. And as you can see the, from the preview here, everything looks fine, except now we just want to make these fields empty. So instead of J text field is just going to start in a blank state. So remove all of this text here. Okay, so let's take another look. Run file. Yep, everything looks good so far. And now let's go to the code. 